Hey everybody, my name is Elisa and welcome back to my channel and if you've never been here before, welcome! It's a new week which means it's time for a new sewing project for me and this one has been a bit of a design challenge. So just a couple of weeks ago, I actually went to the knitting and stitching show here in London and I came back with three different kinds of fabrics and I already sewed up two of them. And I'm going to link the videos for those in the description box so you can watch them later if you want to. But there is a reason why the third one happened to be the last one that I'm sewing up because I just wasn't too sure of what to make with it. Um, so the fabric is right here behind me and it's this gorgeous print by a brand called Fabric Godmother. It's a very, very drapey, cotton sateen-esque fabric. I'm going to look up exactly what kind of fabric it is and I'm going to link it in the description box as well. So what I was able to do with it was kind of limited because it's a certain kind of fabric that needs a certain kind of design. It doesn't hold any specific shape really well. It's a very drapey fabric so it's got to be a drapey design. So yeah, I, I was really struggling with ideas for this one until I saw this image. Now this image has been in my Pinterest pins for like ages now and um, I didn't really think much about it. I just thought the outfit combination was really cool. So the wrap dress with the beautiful knits and the belt and I just recently bought this gorgeous pumpkin colored cashmere sweater from me and M. And then I was like, hold up, I think I could recreate this outfit with this cashmere vest sweater and that fabric. So the plan is that I'm going to make this fabric into a beautiful wrap dress. I'm going to repurpose a pattern that I actually traced from one of my mom's dresses and I already made a dress with that pattern last year so I'm going to link that in the description box as well in case you want to watch it afterwards. So I'm going to repurpose that pattern but I'm going to change the sleeves. I don't exactly know yet what kind of shape they're going to have but we'll figure it out. So that's what today's video is about so let's jump straight in. All right, so all of my pieces are cut now. I made the decision only to go ahead with the bodice and not cut the skirt yet because I just don't know what kind of skirt I want to go for. I also made the decision to make the sleeves short because of two reasons. A, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough fabric otherwise, and B, the idea is to recreate this outfit that I showed you earlier, and it's gonna be easier for me and more comfy to wear this cardigan on top of the dress if the sleeves are short, I think because it's just gonna give me more space in the sleeves. So everything's prepped. I can go ahead and start assembling the bodice. And I just grabbed some sewing thread from my stash that is kind of obviously not the color that I'm looking for, but because this is multi-colored, I think this should be good. How are they gonna know? Who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. So let's get started. All right, so we do have a center back with a princess seam, and we do also have a front two front pieces to be exact, these ones, with a princess seam. Now these need to go in, but before I do that, I'm gonna sew the dart in the back, which I decided to add. All right, so we have some darts in here now, which really nicely disappear. Now I can grab the side pieces of the back alongside the princess seam and then I can start pinning the two pieces together along that seam. Because these two pieces are curved, I'm going to use more needles than I usually would just to keep everything nicely in place. All right, now the princess seams are pinned in and I'm going to sew them with a stitch length of four. So I'm invited to a birthday party tonight, so I'm gonna call it a day for today. Um, but made some progress, happy with having cut out all the elements except for the skirt, obviously. And I will continue working on this tomorrow morning. It's the next day. It's been a bit of a slow Sunday for me today. I've been cleaning my place, cooking, taking a nap, and now I decided to take two hours to sew a little bit and continue with this project. So the last thing I did last night before I went to a friend's party was to add in the princess scenes. And now I'm gonna continue with closing the shoulders um, for front and back. So joining the two together and then sewing the side seam so I can give the wrap bodice the first try. 
All right, let's get started. So I have the right side of my back facing up. Now I'm gonna grab my front pieces. And this pattern is such that we have a cut on collar, under collar in the front, which are these like extensions here. So this is where my true shoulder starts, which means I need to match up the end point of my shoulder and back with that little corner here. And as the good sewist I am, I'm gonna go press those seams now. All right, so this is what we're looking at now. Shoulders are sewn together. And now to make things easier for myself, I will immediately work on closing off the collar section. And I do that by snipping in the collar until I meet my seam end here. And this way I can pivot the piece and pin it along the neckline. So I'm simply going to go in now and sew the neck shut around and I'm going to start in these little nooks here. Yep, so you see we have this really nice and crisp corner in the seam that now goes around the collar in the back and meets the other shoulder in the same fashion. So this is a success, I would say. So in order for me to be able to try this, I'm gonna turn this inside out and place right sides touching and I'll pin together the sides. So those together and then we can have a first try. I can have my Gucci on. I can wear my Louis Vuitton, but even with nothing on. I've never actually heard the full song, I think. Oh, TikTok. All right, so I would say this looks very good. I'm happy. I don't think I have to make any changes. I could take it in a little bit on the side, but I think half of the charm of it is that it's not super tight, if you know what I mean? Like, it's still a very blousey kind of thing. So. The back is a little too long, which is no problem at all because we're going to shorten this. And I will also increase the curve um, of, how should I describe this, of these like front pieces. So I'm gonna shorten this part here a little bit because this is what adds tension to the wrap closure in the front. And the tighter and higher this is, the shorter it is, the more this is gonna be tightened and the less gapey it's going to be, if that makes sense. So I'm super happy with this. I think the next step for me is to search all of the inside seams because they're good to go. And then I can add the lapel. And once I've added the lapel, this is gonna look crisp and nice. And then I can add the sleeves. Easy breezy. How nice is that? <laughs> Right, everything is pressed and prepared and now we can add the lapel as far as I'm concerned which looks like this so the way this works is I'm gonna place the bodice in front of me and then I'm gonna grab the lapel sides and I'm going to try and pin them in the right position so obviously right sides touching I'm gonna start with one side over here and again I need to push the lapel in a position where this little corner here matches up Now it looks like that and it is ready to be joined with the main bodice placing it so that the center back is facing me and now i can place the center back of my facing piece for the lapel right sides touching and i'm going to start to pin from here Morning, morning, morning. It's been a few days. I'm back at working on this wrap dress. The cold weather has struck. My lips are so dry. I have the worst corners in my mouth. Sorry, it's a bit gross, but it hurts as well. So in case you're seeing something here, 
it's not my fault i'm sorry <laughs> anyways so i am about this far with the project which means we have the bodice assembled and also the lapel lapel still don't know how to say it is in i hand sewed the inside shut as best as i could so yeah this is done so far and now i'm going to continue with working on the sleeves so i can insert those into the bodice and then the top is finished and we can move on to the skirt all right so here we have the sleeves two of them to be exact and the center point which is the shoulder seam is marked with a notch first step is to search this length down here the second step is to take this to your iron and press this up all right so now that both of them are pressed up like this we can use this as a guide we now open this back up and fold the sleeve right sides touching and then i'm going to make sure that everything is aligned nice and neat where the crease of the press of the iron is now i'll go ahead and sew and search these seams all right ran out of searching for it for a second so that was an interruption but that's what the sleeves look like now the sides are closed the cuff is up and now we are going to take this to our sewing machines and we're going to add two stitch lines along the searched edge here and we're going to make it so that we create a tunnel that's approximately one centimeter wide so we can insert an elastic cutesy sleeves are prepared and ready to be inserted into the armholes so let's do that i'm gonna grab my first armhole doesn't matter which one and i'm going to grab one sleeve and i'm going to start by placing the side seams of the bodice and the side seam of the sleeve on top of each other like this now i'm gonna reverse this and reach into a piece from the other side and now i can start pinning around the armhole from here so this is a bit of a puffed ruffled sleeve so i'm gonna pin it flat in the underarm area and then i'm going to distribute the ease i have around the shoulder if this isn't cute i don't know what is Come on, look at the sleeves. So cute. I'm very happy with this. I think this looks so adorable. That means I just need to search the armholes and then the top is done, completed. And then I can move on with the skirt, which I haven't cut yet. That will need some thinking because I don't yet know what kind of skirt I want to add to this. Okay, so a decision has been made and it is a circle skirt or half circle skirt. So basically we have the center back and no side seams and this is how it's going to be closed. This is about knee length right now. I also cut a bunch of straps, which I think will become rough, 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 which I think will become ruffles along the skirt. So basically the thing I'm going to do right now is to attach all of these stripes to each other so we have one very very long one then i'm going to already hem it with a simple very narrow rolling hem then i'm going to add a basting stitch to the upper length of it then i'm going to gather it to the circumference of the circle skirt and then i'm going to attach it along the hem to finish the skirt to be ready to be joined with the top a few steps but they're simple so let's do it Attaching ruffles to the skirt is going to make it more cohesive along with the sleeves and repeat that detail But also it makes it easier for me to give it a really really nice rolling hem Because if you work with a circle skirt hemming the skirt can be a bit difficult The easiest way to do that would be to serge the length of the skirt and then just fold it over once and top stitch it down But this is definitely the neater and cleaner finish once I've cut the seam allowance back to a minimum, I'm going to take this to my iron, press it and then fold it over as small as I can to give it the roll. I'm then going to top stitch that down once again to finish off the hem.
finally the ruffles are prepared we have a really cute little rolling hem all along and this is a total length of five meters and 44 centimeters now i already added a basting stitch on the upper edge of that ruffle which is where it's going to be joined with the circle skirt now the circle skirt is three meters and 70 centimeters in circumference which means i need to gather down the five meter 44 to the three meters 70. Yeah, okay. <sighs> this little trim here roughly two and a half hours can you believe it hemming it gathering it pinning it to the hem of the skirt finishing the front edges of the skirt all of that two and a half hours sewing it searching it pressing it i did not think this would take me that long but again i'm not very good at estimating how long things take as we know so <laughs> no surprises there i'm done for today i'm spent and um that means the joining of the top and the skirt will have to wait until next time logging off. Hello folks, it is a new day and I just came home from a long day's work in the office and I decided it's time to finish up this project. I created a few spaghetti straps which I'm going to use as a closing mechanism for the dress. One is a little bit longer than the other and the only thing that's left to do really is to join the top and skirt of the waist seam so that's what I am going to do now and then let's see what this dress turned out like. All right, so I'm placing the top in front of me so that the right side is facing me and I can have a good look at the back. And now I'm gonna find the center back for both top and skirt. I'm gonna place them right sides touching and then I'm going to start pinning from the center back. 